I mean, one of the fastest going, uh, gr- growing uh, restaurants. It's got the brand, the, the best sports bar um, title that it got on ESPN. And tonight it's going to be on network television on Undercover Boss. Um, the San Antonio location in Walk-Ons will have uh, their uh, co-owners, Brandon Landry and Drew Brees, uh, go undercover. And, uh, and like I said, man, it's been awesome to see our guy, Brandon Landry, a local guy, uh, experience so so much success and tonight we'll be on network television with walk-ons and it's kind enough to jump on with us here on uh, on what is uh, I guess uh, on, on the debut day here of undercover boss Brandon good morning man how are you what's up guys yeah man appreciate you having me it's kind of like the car wash uh, the last couple of days I've, I've been everywhere I'm on the way back from New Orleans now did WWL early this morning nice. so, uh, it's good stuff man yeah we uh, we actually not just San Antonio we had five different location wow um, and so uh drew went undercover in new orleans just because of time constraints and you know we filmed this at the early summer uh right at the beginning of june and so uh it was good stuff man it's unbelievable what goes on in these shows and uh we learned a lot learned a lot about our company but most importantly we learned we got some really really good people and uh it's just good to get to know some of them especially when they don't know they're talking to you so what was so what's the goal going in and what do you take away from it yeah, well, I mean, Undercover Boss contacted us probably about this time last year and said, are you guys interested? We we love your story, and you guys are growing. And, uh, of course, it doesn't hurt to have a future Hall of Fame sure. quarterback right. part of this deal. And so um, right away I said, absolutely. I, I'm man. I called Drew, and Drew's like, man, yes, this would be awesome. You know, because, look, we're – you know, we have 33 open restaurants right now, and we have, uh, we'll open 20 or so this year. So, you know, we'll double, triple size of the, comp- the company in the next – year 18 months Jeez. you know so we really wanted to get to know all right what's going on behind the scenes what are things we need to work? we we know we're pretty good you know we're, we're there's there's a reason why we're growing right and we're a reason why people are are expanding our brand with us as franchise partners but you know to get to the next level you got to make sure you know it's all about the details and so we really wanted to go and find out what's going on and really get to know some of our people. Uh, I mean, when, once you start growing, you know, I don't, back in the day, you guys remember, I was in the restaurant every day. Uh, now, uh, with a couple thousand employees, and you just don't get that personal connection with them anymore. And so the opportunity to meet four or five and, and really dig down and understand what's going on kind of behind the scenes was, was just unbelievable. Uh, was anybody at all ever freaked out by Drew's makeup? He has a very Geico caveman type of, <laughs> type of look to him. Dudney now, I mean, look, here's the deal. We had, it, Drew had only time, and he was starting training camp, and so we all, we had to go in New Orleans. It was either Clearview or Poydras. And so um, Drew did about three and a half hours. Damn. It, it, was, it was like Game of Thrones type of stuff, which you'd appreciate. <laughs> uh, you know, prosthetics everything like that and uh no like if know. i see that if i see that guy on the street i may cross to the other side of the street he, he, <laughs> he looks a little he looks a little freaky it, it's breezes christ and it's <laughs> uh, it is oh but you God. know you know it's crazy so drew i mean you think drew can walk down porter street and not get attacked by no? people yeah uh, no chance he was loving it, man. He's just walking down Porter said Rampart. There's wow. like a group of people there, and they're like, who's this freak show? So wow. They have no idea. It's true freak. Oh, no. So they're so going to watch the show and be like, wait, no. Oh, great. no, damn it. So I got a exactly. minute left. They got a big watch party on Kali Saloon at the, uh, the Walk-Ons in Lafayette. What's happening here locally? Yeah, so, I mean, we're going to have a private party at our corporate headquarters. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, at, at, on Burbank Drive, and then. Actually, all the restaurants, all 33 open locations wow. across the country are having a watch party tonight. We'll be giving away free beignets. And Drew actually signed a, um, a football for every location. We'll, we'll, we'll give a, a, a free autographed football away in, in every location tonight. And so, it, look, it's, it's great for our brand. Uh, you know, I haven't seen it yet either. Drew our eye. Now, nobody's seen it in our organization. Um, and so we'll, we'll, it'll be the first time we, we get to watch it as well. Happy New Year, buddy. Congratulations on all the success, man. We'll be looking forward to the show tonight. Same to you guys. Go Tigers. Let's roll on Monday. Yes, Absolutely. sir. There he is, president and CEO of Walk-Ons Enterprises, Brandon Landry, checking wow. in this morning. He and Drew Brees will be on uh, Undercover Balls tonight. That'll debut at 7 o'clock on CBS. And there you heard it, man. They hadn't even seen it yet. So I uh, wonder if Drew will go to the game Monday. I can imagine he maybe so wants to get away. In Sean Payton's press conference yesterday, he said him and Breeze were talking on the phone about LSU tickets. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I don't know, so man. Maybe, maybe, I don't maybe know. so. That'd be cool.